Tuffy. She is my dog. She's five years old and she loves to play. This is Tuffy's mum, Dobby. Dobby gave birth to Tuffy five years ago. She is now very old. Tuffy got her name because when she was born, she couldn't breathe. So mum and dad had to dangle her upside side down to get her breathing. So her, we named her Tuffy because she was very tough. Her nicknames from there are Tuffy, Tuff and Tuffinator. When I was five, we took Tuffy to school. She had some brothers and some sisters. We had to sell her brothers and sisters, but we kept Tuffy. This is Tuffy's food. She has this much for breakfast every day. Sit. Stay. Good girl. Tuffy's biscuits are special dog biscuits. They are wheat free because her mum is gluten free like me. Tuffy has special bones for her teeth to keep them healthy. 15 to 30 minutes after breakfast, we bring Tuffy out here to do her business. If she does her business in the right spot, we give her a piece of meat or a lot of love because you can't buy friends. We are now looking at the genetics behind Tuffy. A poo Tuffy's mum Dobby is a poodle plus a Labrador, which equals a Labradoodle, which is Dobby. Now over here, a Border Collie, which is Jed, the farm dog next door. So Dobby and Jet together is Labradoodle crossed with a Border Collie, which equals Tuffy. In scientific words, P plus L equals L plus BC equals LC, BC equals T. Well, now Confirm that with my assistant. The Border Collie is a very hard working dog and the Labradoodle is a very funny and loves humans kind of dog. And together they create Tuffy. Tuffy is very silly sometimes, but she's also very loving and caring. Her job around the house is to look after us and because she always barks when any strangers come which would be good if there was a robbery. Tuffy is also a farm dog in the border collie side as I told you before which means she has to she tries to herd the sheep up but we don't have sheep we only have goats so she's a goat dog. She's not always very good at it. She also gets fleed and dewormed once a year. Tuffy has got a lot of habits. For instance, when our older dog goes, hasn't finished eating or eats slowly, Tuffy comes over and eats her food. Our se her second habit is very disgusting. Dog, our older dog sometimes throws up and, tu and Tuffy comes along and eats the throw up and then poops it out and then eats that again. This is not a very healthy thing to also do. Also eats sheep poo and cow poo. This is the area Tuffy is meant to sleep in, but she always goes somewhere else. Tuffy, come! Beard, Tuffy. Beard, beard. Now stay. She's a family dog. She runs out in the garden most of the day and then when it gets cold at night, she comes in. It's important that Tuffy gets her fur trimmed a few times a year and it's important she has a bath when she starts to smell.
Okay, yeah. Get her nice and wet. What about the head? Yep. <laughs> Start with the hose. Start with the hose. Play time. I need your rank of hellhound to move into the east, okay? Come down here and then push in and try and take down the cavalry, okay? Yeah. Tuffy does parkour with me. Tuffy looks after me just like Izzy. Tuffy's a wonderful dog. She's a friend, companion, and whatever other words mean friend. <laughs>